Hello everyone. So my name is uh, Stefan Höfs. I'm a business developer at uh, CGS Service and today I will talk about um, proofing. If you know CGS Service, this will probably not uh, surprise you. We are a developer of uh, color management software for digital printing, but also for analog printing. But we are also a specialist for advanced <coughs> proofing solutions. Today I will not talk about proofing solutions for the commercial print market or for the packaging print market, but I will show you a dedicated proofing solutions for the decor market. So we will prove decorative surfaces, the full appearance of a decorative surface, including the texture, the colors, and the glossiness. So by the way, what we mean with proofing is to produce something in a cost-effective way that is as close to the final production as possible. So what we are talking about, the decor industry, this is a billion dollar industry. If you are in your hotel room and look around, you see decorative surfaces everywhere. You look at the flooring, you see a wood floor, it's probably not a wood floor, it's a laminate floor or a vinyl floor. Then you go in the bathroom and you see all the ceramics. Yesterday we learned a lot about the ceramics industry, printing industry in, in Spain. And probably it's also looking like wood because this is the newest trend. Then you have the wallpapers in the room and you have all the surfaces of, um, of the furniture. And uh, the main differentiator in this market is design. It's a little bit like in the fashion industry. You're constantly investing a lot of money in creating new designs because you never know which design will be a lame duck and which design will be a best-selling product. And that's why the industry needs a solution to create um, prototypes in a cost-effective way. So we have talked about uh, the different decorative surfaces <coughs> that surround us, wallpapers, floorings, tiles. There is one thing they have all in common. The surface is characterized by the color, the texture, and the glossiness. If you, for example, go to your knees and have a close look at a laminate flooring, you will see that there is a texture completely synchronized with the colors. And you, if you look carefully, you see also that there are different gloss grades. So very often in the valleys of the wood floor, you have it more matte, and on top, it's more glossy. So if you wanted to produce prototypes, if you wanted to um, yeah, we produce a complete appearance, you have to take care of all these aspects. Um, let's imagine we are a flooring company and we wanted to develop a new flooring. A lot of decorative surfaces are imitating natural materials. That's why very often uh, the design process starts with a surface scan. So you are the designer, you have found maybe a very nice um, oak plank on an old farming house, and then you start scanning this. And the good thing is that uh, these scanners can not only capture the color image of the surface, but they are also able to capture the height map and the gloss map. And then usually the design process starts. So um, you start as a designer to play around with all dimensions of the surface, with the glossiness, with the color, with the texture. You make retouching. You make maybe an endless repeat. As we heard yesterday from Royce, you use artificial intelligence to make the wood plank bigger, for example. But what you definitely need is you need a way to bring this, that, what you have created on the screen on your computer 
back to reality. And um, the easiest way to do so is using a small UV flatbed printer. And I will show you in a minute a small uh, video that will explain it uh, in more detail. But in general, it's quite easy. You start with first printing multiple layers of uh, UV varnish to build up the texture. Then you print a white layer, just that the colors on top will be more consistent and bright. And then you have the textures and the colors. And then in the next step, <laughs> you print with a gloss varnish all the different gloss crates on the design. We have a, a small problem here, and that's that the UV ink itself is already quite glossy. It has a, a gloss degree of around uh, 10. And if you wanted to print or create uh, surfaces, you want more matte surfaces, around a gloss degree of 4. That's why we have developed a special uh, spray coating, a matte varnish, to bring the complete print down to a gloss level of around 4. And then from this matte point on, we can uh, print all gloss levels up to uh, 100. I don't know if you have a feeling for gloss units, what, what this means. But if not, I have some, some samples with me. And I will just give it in the, in the walls, and then you can uh, see what is possible in terms of madness or uh, texture accuracy and uh, also the quality, print quality of the colors. <laughs> so there's a small uh, film. Uh, here we are not uh, doing a real proof, but we are doing a one-to-one -one copy of a natural materials. So starting with the surface scan, then we just use our software to uh, define thickness and gloss levels and all these things. And uh, then the print process starts, and we are starting to print uh, the texture, multiple layers of uh, gloss varnish, and you will see the result in a second. That's the result. And then uh, there will be the white layer as an underlaying uh, layer for, uh, for the colors. And last but not least, there will be the, uh, the last step, uh, print the colors on top. What is not in this video is uh, the application of the matte varnish and also the print process with the uh, glossy ink, but it's um, pretty much the same. I will just... shorten this. So what we have done here is a one-to-one -one copy of a natural material. And what we have talked so far about is just replicating the dreams of the designer. But at the end, that's not what we wanted to achieve. We wanted to achieve something that is as near to the final production as possible. That means you need to understand the final production tools. And uh, in terms of colors, this means you have to understand the characteristics of the, uh, the printing machines. For digital printing, this is relatively easy. You can use, for example, um, ICC color management technology to meet the production printer. If you are, for example, in rotograve room printing, it's a lot more complicated. But also here are possibilities you can, for example, use a spectral overprint uh, technology to predict also here very precisely the final outcome on the press. And the second important printing te the, uh, production technology, giving the texture, um, is, for example, or are, for example, press plates or um, cylinders. And if you want to use the grayscale image that you are also using to engrave the cylinder, 
to build up the texture with the UV printer, there's some things you have to take into account. For example, that there is something like a rebound effect. So that means the imprint of a cylinder is not one-to-one -one, uh, what you have on your final product. It's possible to prove this, but you have to be aware of it and you have to take it into account. So, um, the goal is really to uh, print a surface in a cost-effective way and in a flexible way that is as near to your final product as possible. And you want to use the original production data, means for example the technical separation for rotogravure printing or addictive for your um, single pass printer. And for example, the grayscale image you also use to uh, engrave your cylinder to produce something that is as close to the uh, final production as possible. And the benefits are quite clear. It will help you through the design process of new surfaces. It will shorten approval cycles and thus um, time to market. And in the best case, you will be able to, to avoid um, press-proof costs. That's it. Thank you for listening.